Back again. Hello and welcome to the season we club discussion. Um, no Hero Academia edition. I'm Kraftsdorf. Mr. Um, Gay and I'm Wyatt. Vindy. I don't know. I was gonna let what go, but he wants to. I don't be have anything to us. say, man. I don't have anything to say. I'm tired. Sad. See, uh, right, right now we're switched. See how Vindy's usually sleeping right now? That's me this time. Because you haven't had food in the last like or don't Debbie. Well, before. no, I I finished. I broke out of my fast. You know. Okay. You don't fast for more than 72 hours unless well, you want your body to eat itself. No, I want to fast for a month. People, only stupid people do that. <laughs> We're never going to chill on that, man. We're anyway. never going Look, to because it's so bad. It's so he's, bad. He's I... the gift that keeps giving. That's true. Like, as I think Look, Mindy was pointing out. Anyway, he, let's actually get to the just... um, Oh, yeah, go okay. Play the opening because uh, Cautious Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, we only have two episodes to discuss, so... Yeah, so this will be a way shorter episode, I think, of this. So we can... I can't... I think we can slow it down, Kraz. I think we have a little bit of time to shoot the shit this this week. I can't believe we ahe... He ahe gowed that a goth GF. Look, I was so goth sad GF. because the, the goddess of war went from being super hot to super not hot. It was so sad. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I literally was watching, I was like, I can't wait to talk in the Weeb Club about how much I love her. And then she just turned it into some fucking well, she turned right back. Dairy dairy bitch. And I was like, oh my god, I hate turned right I back. Stupid. This. Okay, stupid. Yeah, it was like, I don't know. She wasn't good, yeah. particularly great either before or it after. Probably smells, and I'm not down for that. Well. You just Vindy gotta might... learn to respect the yeah. uh the finer things in life. You see, you see, Vindy, I saw your tweet I saw you reply to that tweet on Twitter about Mordred saying how like Saying how much she smelled or something, you're like all positive things, and I was I stopped for a second, <laughs> yeah. and I and my finger like immediately moved to the block button, and I was like, I, I had to physically stop myself from doing it because I was like, no, I no, none of this, these are all lies. Stop it, God, stop it. That was such a funny tweet. Follow me on Twitter at Vindivon. No, funny. Uh. You don't make me use it. I have it. I have. I have something prepared just in case. But anyway, yeah, it was just kind of an all right episode. Uh, there was one really funny part though. Um, was when um Elulu shot her fire arrow at the the, the and the fucking <laughs> the phoenix fucking knocked bitch. it out of the air and like bitch out of the air. It's not just like oh yeah, I'm better than you in every way. He's actively like being a fucking dick. Like, right. Uh, that was funny. Uh, uh, I did like watching the uh, the demon that was just like they got the shit beat out of, or the god that got the shit beat out of him. Like wait, and like he checked what Mash's levels were. And was like, all right, I'll teach you now. I'll teach you, man. It's all cool. He wanted to be a cooking boy, though. Well, this no. isn't Shokugeki no Soma. Yeah, yeah, it's actually you know. Hopefully, it oh. doesn't turn to shit at the end. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Still, like, getting uh, stabbed in the eyes by all the ones was funny. <laughs> Um, because of the the defense, um, I mean, you guys are honest, just out of it. Like, I mean, oh, that I mean, goddess that was uh, wrapped in chains was pretty hot as well. I was super into that. Okay, yeah. Oh, she yeah, probably more smells bad stuff because she's a okay. Th- God, okay. Let's just end the whole episode. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. Here, I'll I'll, I'll wake up a little bit. I, like I said, I've been laying in bed all day. All right. Uh, you are disgusting. Okay, I actually think at the end there was kind of like an interesting thing raised, which is like, you know, normally you would think of him as uh like main boy, right? Is like the guy who like, you know, he'll do whatever he can to get ahead because he's cautious. But now he has the choice of is he gonna betray his party member uh for the strongest weapon, or is he gonna not kill her and instead yeah. choose to save her and side with her? So I actually think like 
it brought up like an interesting like challenge which, to yeah, his ideals is, yeah. for the next episode, which is kind of what I, I've been waiting for to see his caution be challenged. Though that that said, like um, you know, so far he's definitely like obviously he's not going to sacrifice her, and in general he's pretty adverse to like people dying like getting hurt is a different thing because he burned down an entire village and definitely hurt some people but um yeah he you know he's always like i don't think hmm, i guess we'll see but um though i guess as far as the caution goes like uh Rista pointed out that like he's not cautious at all when it comes to dealing with the gods like um like even before with ishtar he was like yeah uh teleport me um he just or... flexes his chad cock the entire time he talks to them it's epic yeah it's awesome and then, of course, this episode with Valkyrie, who's about to fucking kill him. Um, so, yeah. I did like how she was like, uh, she said to the, uh, it was funny, she's like, she wants to fondle the other goddess. I hope they show that. If not, I'll be sad. Also, I did like watching MASH kind of learn his uh, cautious, like, uh, ideals. <laughs> was funny. Yep. Um, or what did she call it? Another disciple to the... Cautionism Dr. is what yeah, my sub said. So that was what it was, right? Um, but yeah, the official sub about... since I'm not a pirate <laughs> look honestly right the only thing I have a problem with is like I don't want the... I'm kind of seeing the warning signs it might be the same joke in the same setup for the next few arcs and I don't want that because... yeah that's why that's why I'm saying that like I'm kind of happy that I feel like at least on sub level he's being challenged you know yeah it's just I don't oh, God, because like at this point now it's just it's the same joke Every single time. Well, like, just, yeah. to make a comparison to, say, One Punch Man, like, where you both have a really, like, a hero who's very capable and through one very, like, extreme method. Um, though, like, with One Punch Man, it's able, I think it's able to be interesting with, like, the side cast, like, seeing them. They're the ones who struggle and such. Where with Cautious Hero doesn't really have a strong side cast yet. So, or... So that's kind of a, like an issue that the series has to deal with going forward, I'd say. Because, yeah, like otherwise, like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, say is going to run into another bad guy and he's going to be perfectly prepared. He even says, I'm perfectly prepared. So it's either, you know, challenge him or do something, you know, challenge other characters. So, right. I yeah. feel like they're kind of doing that with, the, with like they're slowly introducing like the gods and stuff because I mean, yeah, they're very featured in the opening, which, oh, yeah, the opening changed a little. So now we see more of the. You know, like the the four, the two of the, the four guys who yeah, have yeah, revealed yeah. so far. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm curious because, like, I feel like at some point, like maybe the the heavenly realm would be threatened. Like, it, there'd be a reason to like because he's an S class demon lord, so it'd be interesting. And say is really abusing the ability to go between back and forth. Like, you know, it's just I'm waiting for something to go wrong. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, um, yeah, like, yeah, like nothing's perfect. actually gone wrong yet. Everything's just gone completely perfectly for him. And maybe Which it'll take a while. It's funny at first, yeah, but it, it, it can't last forever, I think, without getting boring. Yeah, so. All right. We'll see. What did my phone just say? Did that say Love Life Sunshine stage play? I'm about to kiss my pants. Okay, well, shut the fuck up. No one cares. Oh, never mind. But it was fine. Uh, Probably one of the weaker episodes so far, if not the weakest. Um,. Yeah, yeah was I was right. kind of not super into it. Like, yeah, I was, I was like turned off. I was like, I look, I'd look away, come back, and be like, ah, same thing. Well, you guys feel turned off in general, probably because you both watched like at least like <sighs> what? How many episodes each today? I've watched uh, fourteen. But here's here's why I will say that I think you might be a little wrong. I watched fourteen episodes of anime today, and the most tuned in I was was to the fourteenth episode, which we'll talk about after this. Gotcha. So okay. I'm tuned out for different. reasons sad yeah you sound like you're about to die yeah eat food anyway I did eat. Um, all sorry. right so do we want to move on from cautious hero yeah to the best anime of the year oh yeah hit that intro son I love Shit. Lugosi. Well, that just is, uh, you know, um, I, I hold on. How many times? Welcome to the Weeb Club, where all Vindy can say is I love Lugosi in the all same correction. tone. All Vindy and Kraftstorf can say. <laughs> yeah, because because I also love Lugosi. Okay, I have been waiting five episodes to talk about something, and I can finally talk about it right now. Okay, so in the opening, right, there's the shot where Lugosi 
is chasing Haru through a forest, and the forest is made of Lewis's antlers. And we finally can see that that's because Lewis is dating Haru right now. Fuck. And it's right, because that Fuck. part... Good. Oh, God. But when did they enter I... the threesome relationship? Uh, it, it, it doesn't... It stops becoming a threesome, and instead it becomes... Lagosi and Haru and Lagosi and Lewis have their own relationships. That's fucking hot, man. Yeah, it really is. God, I love it. I want Lagosi to be in a third relationship with me. Oh. Oh, you want his big wolf dick? Yes. Oh, oh no. See, it's funny, like, because Vinny posted a screen cap of the dogs, like, uh, you know, having haircuts, and I just, I didn't even barely remember it from the episode. But then once Vinny posted, I was like, wow, Vinny's a gay furry. Lagosi's fucking toned, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Dude, you're a fucking furry. Just admit it. You at this point, look, I I we were talking about our Pokemon uh, Pokemon that we like, and you're like, I don't know why Gardevoir is the hottest Pokemon. Because La Funny's right there. And all of us stopped. And we were like, Vindy, that's a fucking rabbit. Vindy. What the fuck? Vindy. You I you need to stop. You need, you need to stop. Man, I can't. I can't do it. Are you laughing, anymore. or did you record like a laugh track of yourself and are playing it on? No, loop I'm because... laughing. You need to stop, please. I'll fucking cry. I'm I'm fucking furry laugh. bitch. Yeah. Crash um, Dwarf, why did we I, I let take this it fucking back. furry in our club? I, I take it back. I don't love Lugosi that much. He's already on my character, like Bingo. But oh, I you're close like... enough, Crash Dwarf. We all know you're the. You will. You'll get there. You'll get there. Group. We all know that's the fact. It's the two. So pretty soon, I'm gonna come into this call. We're gonna get ready to record the next episode of Beastars, and I'm gonna and I just be howling. A woo! A woo! I'm gonna hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm, gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna just quit this fucking. I'm gonna quit the Weeb Club or fire you two from it and make Nun and Drock be the new members. Then Nun and Drock become furries. <sighs> <laughs> well, Nun already likes Beastars, right? Or I think I, think I have no it. clue. Actually. I actually I suspect that Nun might be a furry. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> There's an obvious joke I'm going to say, but I'm going to stop from saying it because anyway, we've all heard it over um, and over again. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Lugosi was very good this episode. He had like, like, um, Vindy also tweeted the one where he's like covering his face because of the cameras, and it's oh like, oh my god, what a sweet boy. Oh. Yes. Um, uh, there was an interesting like world building thing with the dinosaurs. That was, um, why were the dinosaurs neat? not humanoid, huh? Huh? <laughs> Why didn't they have? Why wasn't there just like a huge dude with a giant T Rex head? That would have been the most metal thing I would have ever seen. Why didn't they do that? They had the perfect opportunity to just have like See, a big buff dude of, with a giant uh, T Rex head. Maybe I'll find them, Vindy. But there's like fan art of Monster Hunter monsters, but like slightly humanized. Like the mon- head monster head is still the monster, but they're wearing like suits. And I don't know, man. Animals in suits is like a weird thing. And it, it but it's kind a of a cool. weird like sexual thing for you or like no 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 what? oh my god Fucking oh my god did you hear that what did you whoa whoa whoa, whoa. I heard what? That. did you I get heard that the same way i did I okay cool. that. yeah uh-huh. I mean, <laughs> just, okay you guys okay. are both stupid okay speaking of monster <laughs> like, hunter i read some hot fucking hentai dojo the word is projecting not stupid craft store um <laughs> i'm trying to talk about the episode okay okay let's talk about the episode <laughs> um so I'm trying to decide my favorite moment because I liked when um, Haru and Lugosi were were eating and he's just like freaking out in his brain. He's like, oh God, oh God. Like he, he's praying and he's like repenting and the, his eyes were like freaking out. And it's yeah, like- it was like Craft Store Simulator. Can we, I'm gonna- <laughs> <laughs> what, Maybe what actually just didn't watch the- uh... <laughs> The Beastars episode, and you just I came into college for I did watch it. Oh, but really? What was your favorite it, moment of the episode? My favorite part was when they were walking back to the rooms, and then he bent down, and he was like, they were like, had a like nice little moment. Okay, suck okay, my dick, you fucking fine. furry. Actually, you no, know, actually, don't do that. I don't want your furry mouth anywhere near my fucking. Can we dick. agree? The I'm coolest part of that weird. episode, though, was when like their conversation was shown in Lagosi's face. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, no, it was nice. And then, um, oh, I, that that was uh, when uh, Haru was being bullied and she went off on them and then, like, Ghosties just kind of come up from behind and they, like, lose their shit and run That's away. Funny. I like that. That was great. Um, I thought, I thought, like, I want, it was, uh, I wanted something, like, I wanted him to, like, say something to them, but it was way funnier the way it happened because then Haru was just like, haha, yeah, take that. I got you. Haha. <laughs> and she just turns around and is like, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> And then he just sits there and doesn't say anything. Fucking Spurg. <laughs> Fucking incel. You guys are you guys like a furry incel. 
Discuss. Oh, um, so there was a good moment. I don't remember the name of like the the dog, uh, the golden. I think is a lab. Um, oh, he's a animals. good boy. I like him. He's a good boy. Yeah. Well, like I like Lugosi was like, oh, he must not have, or did he not realize that I wasn't acting? And then he just like has just says, yeah, you weren't acting. It's cool. And it's like he's a good yeah, boy. Yeah. Jack um, is fucking amazing. Jack. I love Jack. Uh, I love oh, yeah. Lugosi's entire like K nine dorm. They're all really really oh. good. Uh oh. Actually, um. I did read the manga up to the where the last episode ended. Um, there was actually, yeah, there was something Finn to you because because um, Jack mentioned that he'd been like living next door to Lugosi since they were kids, which kind of implied like not only the dorms were segregated, but like neighborhoods, too. And that was something I hadn't. Well, I only realized reading the manga. I, that I don't know if neighborhoods are segregated. Maybe, but, but that it, sort of it's definitely that, that. Well, it's more that it, we get into backstory. Jack and Lugosi are childhood friends. And that's yeah. why Jack kind of has the, like, for the first time in however long old he is, um, you know. Because, like, Jack's been the ghosties' friend since, like, preschool. So it's just that, like, they have that. Uh... Yeah, because he was talking about, like, oh, yeah, this is the first time you've fallen. That was great when he just, like, I just love him. The ghost is just, like, <laughs> he's such a dork. Yeah, cause, well, no, uh, sorry. I should say they are definitely, definitely not segregated. Um, okay, gotcha. And that was just we'll find out from. why, not in the okay. anime, but. When you read, yeah. you'll figure out. Okay. That was just something I took from the just, it was only 16 chapters. So yeah. Two volumes. So, okay. Never mind. Um, then, Sorry, I forgot uh, a key piece of the ghost. I, I also liked how, like, it's kind of, because um, you were mentioning how, like, the herbivores, they're kind of able to be, f- you know, express their, you know, natural instincts, even when it comes to, like, being afraid of carnivores. But during the eating, like, Haru, like, she, her leg was kicking out because she's like, I instinctually i want to get the fuck out of here um but like she was suppressing it and so it was interesting where you have haru kind of being forced to live in lugosi's shoes in a sense of having to suppress her instincts um right so that was neat well and that's what was great was that like lugosi realized that like she was she wasn't just like giving into her instinct she was like facing him as a person and that he needed to stop and try to face her in the same way yes when they that, that, that was a good moment when they looked in there uh in each other's eyes and yeah, um, try, I don't I, think I had, or I'm trying to think if I had anything else to say. Well, I'm um, sorry. I just went on Twitter and I saw Vinny's tweet. So, <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> For those wondering, the tweet is when the dogs are, uh, it's when the canine dorms are shaving They are themselves. naked and they are cutting their hair. They and I posted there. a screenshot from Cardcaptor Soccer where she has hearts in her eyes because yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. funny joke to make but uh-huh. it's a joke though Vindy. i really doubt it's a joke i'm like we'll 100 see. i'm a hundred and thousand i'm a hundred thousand percent a hundred and sure thousand not, percent huh yeah that it's not a joke i'm a hundred thousand percent sure that it's not a joke Vindy. i'm a little scared so uh i'm gonna just i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm just gonna leave let you two uh okay so uh i'm trying to think i think there's okay so i i do like that like when it comes to the drama club, like, first of all, now Lugosi is kind of like a celebrity in the school, right? For his performance. Um, yes. But also, it was like, it was cool that, like, you know, Lewis wanted to just kick that, like, suspend them from the drama club because, you know, what they did was wrong. But because everyone thought it was a performance, he, he like, literally couldn't and had to just keep him in and pretend nothing went wrong. Yeah, like, there was a little moment where Lugosi saw him, his face, and it was like, oh, he, he seems like a normal 18-year-old guy. Um where his sort of like you know facade broke a bit uh you know because i think you were talking about how lewis you know he's you know oh or well because i think yeah in the manga there was like a lewis a character thing for lewis and the author said how she's she's looking for uh, as of like the end of volume two she's looking forward to seeing you know revealing his true self kind of so every you know everything he it, for him is an act because he has to portray himself himself as strong and you know like yeah, it cracked a bit, and then um, yeah, he has to like he's also that extends to the drama club. Um, so like yeah, it was on purpose, <laughs> and he also gave the line about how um, you know he wanted to you know keep your give the message to keep your conviction even as it was childish to Lugosi that because um, they're good, <laughs> right? Yeah, then they're gonna start having like massive wolf and deer sex later on, according to Vindy. Well, there's also like some smaller things like that are super good. Like, um, you know, like it's not completely like this, but you know, like there's almost like this thing in the drama club between like uh, the actors and then the the stage yes. crew. 
And the stage crew, I feel like, I'd have to actually count, but I feel like it's mostly made up of the carnivores, while the actors are mostly herbivores, which is, like, an interesting, like, uh, you know. Yeah. Again, carnivores have to, like, and like, I only remembered it because the, uh, I don't remember what his name is. I feel like he's voiced by fucking Bakugo because he sounds like him, but he might not be. But that one, the, 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 the guy who got owned. Yeah, the mongoose. Was like mongoose? complaining yeah. about how the actors are getting all this screen time. Let me check because um, now I'm curious about the voice actor. He's a little cunt, man. He's a little cunt. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of him. Oh, okay. You know what was weird to me the fuck out? That ostrich boy has like huge fucking arms and this thin ass neck. And I was just staring at him for a second because I was like, what the fuck is this? Hey, he's fucking jacked, bro. What it, you're, no. Also, uh, you're right. Kai is voiced by Bakugo and also Nikaido from Sangatsu. Yeah, I knew I knew that Bakugo is Nikaido. He's also... Uh, he's got, his voice is really recognizable to me when he starts yelling. Um, <laughs> I immediately go like, oh yeah, that's Bakugo. So, I'm going to start like... I like gonna heard it and it like triggered something in my brain. Oh, now Nishinoya gonna, from uh, Haikyuu is what I imagine you were going to say. Yeah, him. He's also someone in a. Uh, he's the redhead in Yoamushi Pedal. He was the one villain in um, in JoJo's Part Five, which is great because oh. jo- Deku's voice actor was also Naranci in Part Five, so is it is funny. <laughs> uh, Were you yeah, gonna I say don't... what? Oh no, I, I'm kind of like, kind of like in a. You're too quiet. <laughs> I, it was it was good. It was good, and it was just more good. There's not a lot for me to say about it. Because you're dead. Yeah, that too. But I liked it. But, you know, you guys already said everything. So you just sit here and you go like, Ah, oh, Lugosi! Ah, oh, Lugosi! Ah, oh, Lugosi! Oh, God! And I'm like, My yeah. sweet boy. Oh, God. I don't know what you want from me. Lugosi's a good boy. I want you to not be a furry. I'm... Okay. But, yeah. I guess we're done? Uh... Short well, episode? Well, we can get to, uh... uh we we can talk about comments, because we forgot to do that. Oh, so... Okay, yeah. Olivia Mort asks, Is the pillow, d- uh... Beside what the what designed after Maka? I know it's a Hitamari not- sketch girl. I don't know who it is. Oh, yeah. No, it's Yonochi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You think anybody actually that. watched Hitamari sketch? Come on, now. Sad. Half the references nobody in the room get. The only... I was really fucking surprised somebody noticed that, uh... Uh, Belkson was in there from Coming Rider Drive. But, you know... Yeah, someone. Re- yeah, someone. Someone rec- was talking about the Forza one on the Anohana episode. Um, <laughs> even though it's uh, it's the, is it? I uh, isn't it Drive? No, the intro. I used the Forza. Oh, I thought I was talking about the uh, the Hinchin belt on the thing. Um, then Ronan one 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 said, God, "You're pronouncing again. Cross Ange wrong." Uh, no, we're pronouncing Cross Ange right. It's not Crossange. Please never bring, uh, shitty endless jest digi bro shit on to this co- podcast again um, um he also said he also said thinking about it after catching up with the manga Lugosi starting out in the safety of the school and the drama club behind the stage considering the place he goes from there i'm picking out i'm picking up a definite thematic through line and it's cool af kind of not always talking about but it's okay why is this ma- craft store no 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 no, thought- no 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 i don't want to i don't no, 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 no. i do not like this <laughs> oh no the best comment is easily by dot from uh from craft store server it just says kick what i agree i also kick like what. uh i also like namanji's what toxic yeah i like that that's good how am i toxic i don't know if anything i'm i'm like intoxicated i know why what's like this he was jacking off too much to dumbbell that's actually not what happened. That's actually one hundred percent what happened. That's not I what happened. Actually, you. all of his energy, all That's of his energy. No, I, I, I spent too much of my effort having to deal with the fucking comments from the Hasman Hotel video. That's what I jacking had off to the comments from the. Well, so that's just weird. Show. You know, you guys are just you guys are a bunch of fucking DJs. You know, it's, it's interesting how your minds immediately jump to that because I didn't. You guys did. It's a little odd, man. So strange. So wow. Weird. I don't like it. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Who posted this fucking face? In- okay. It's been That's for the thumbnail, you dongus. <laughs> you know what? You're such a fucking toxic individual. You're such a piece of shit. You're a piece of Thank you guys for head. watching uh, week four of the season of Weeb Club. Uh, I love you guys. We'll ne- see you back next, next week. Next week, Boku no Hero Academia will be back, unfortunately. <laughs> Yep, I, I don't know, I feel like the middle of the season is going to kind of lag for a bit because it's usually just where series just kind of like 
go. Not that, you know, it's a bad thing, but there's definitely like a, a point A to point B kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna have to hear Deku talk about the power of one for all. The power that he got from All Might, the power that now he has, he got back in that day when he had no powers. But now that he has that power, he can do things that he didn't do before for every single episode. I can't wait for that. Yay. Very sad. All right. Thank you for listening. 